Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video we're going to be talking about loan compliance. Um, we've already mentioned in previous videos, uh, we've talked about the function of the lungs as an organ. We mentioned the mechanisms of ventilation. So we know by now that the lungs are a elastic organ. It's very distensible. So the lungs are very distensible, which is another word of saying stretchable, so the lungs can stretch. Lung compliance basically means it's the ability of the lungs to expand under pressure. Now, it's basically also known as a change in lung volume per change in transpulmonary pressure. That's the, that's the, the more complicated way of explaining lung compliance and it's based on changes in volume divided by changes in pressure but it basically means how well the lungs can expand under pressure so at a given transpulmonary pressure and you might be wondering what is transpulmonary pressure transpulmonary pressure is the pressure difference across the wall of the lungs so we have alveolar pressure on one side inside the lungs alveolar pressure and on the outside we have the pressure inside the pleural ca cavity which is known as uh, intrapleural pressure. So the difference between these is transpulmonary pressure and this figure is usually positive. Transpulmonary pressure in normal physiological conditions is usually a positive uh, figure. So a, a given transpulmonary pressure will cause greater or lesser expansion depending on compliance of the lungs. So it's all about how well these the lungs can expand under pressure. So just moving on from this, the compliance of the lungs is therefore reduced by factors that produce resistance to distension or stretchability. And an example of this is infiltration of the lung tissue with connective tissue proteins in the case, for example, of pulmonary fibrosis. So in this particular situation, pulmonary fibrosis, we have uh, connective tissue proteins which are infiltrating the lungs. So because of that, the lungs are not able to stretch as well as they normally can. So compliance of the lungs is therefore reduced. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.